Hello, this is Jakob from Cable Guys. Thank you all for helping us beta test the new version of Volume Shaper 4, version 4.1. Uh, I will quickly show you in this video what's new in the update. So, first of all, we got a new wave drawing tool, a steps tool, which is this button here. You can click it to activate, and it lets you draw steps quickly. So, for our transgate light if like effects, um, it's very, very handy. Um, when you, while activated, you can still mouse over a point and move it around for quick adjustments. You can right click on a point to change the level of a point. Um, of course, you can <laughs> deactivate it again. Um, besides that, it's all about workflow basically and we've and about the look we've changed the look of the these um, waveform points to display better better the weight for example if i right click on it you can see that's it's a soft point left clicking adds new soft points right clicking on a point changes its level double click on a point to remove the point i mean that's that's old stuff that that was always there um, but just just saying. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, what's also new is this resize button. Click on it for a big big view of the waveform area. Um, or click again for a smaller one. Of course, same for the spectrum view. Um, no change here, basically. Um, now, then we've added a running light, which shows you the position in the audio signal. It's a bit fast right now because I, I'm on a quarter note, but if I change it to a bar, for example, you can see where you are. Well, let's, let's put a 16 bars, which is very handy that you can now see the position of the audio. Of course, you got the waveform, um, the incoming audio displayed in the back, but um, the slide is, yeah, when working at it, it's, it's quite good. Would be interested to know what you think about it. So. Um, yeah, then buttons are bigger and a bit more responsive. The undo and redo button now look like an undo and redo button. Uh, yeah, you can undo your edits or redo them quickly. Yeah, that's basically it. All the goodies from William Volume Shaper, of course, are still there, like the lab library. We've added quite some presets, or actually, uh, you added quite some presets, the community. I'm very thankful for that. And our preset designer, Sebastian, um, went through them and, yeah, approved them. Uh, yeah, and added new presets here. And all are categorized, of course. Yeah, we've got the spectrum split, which lets you choose which band to edit. Um, so to apply some effect only on the lows or in the mids and in the highs. And one feature which we learned in, in, in user testing that people are not aware of, and it's already there since a while, but I think I should show it quickly, is that if you hold the shift key and then click in the waveform area, you got some some tool, some uh, multi-selection tool. So I've now selected several points. I can move them around. I can resize them. I can scale them. And via the right click menu, which is also there since a while, I got a lot of options, additional options, for example, select all points to move them all around or to, to scale them. Um, yeah, and quite some other stuff too. That's it. Thanks for watching. And yes, let us know what you think of the new beta. Thank you. Bye.